There is a famous hymn writer named Fanny Crosby. She wrote more than 6,000 hymns, such as Blessed Assurance, To God Be the Glory, Pass Me Not, O Gentle Savior, and Safe in the Arms of Jesus. Though she was blind by a disease at the age of six weeks, she was never bitter because of her handicap. She was actually blinded by a quack doctor who applied a blinding poultice to her eyes, which left her almost totally blind. She could only see light and darkness. Pastor Bob here from TLC Church, so glad to speak with you again. One preacher remarked to her once about how it was such a pity that God allowed her to be blind. Her response kind of shook the pastor, and it would me too. She said, if at birth I had been able to make one petition, it would have been that I should be born blind. And the preacher asked, why? Because when I get to heaven, the first face that shall ever gladden my sight will be that of my Savior. One of Fanny's hymns was so personal that for years she kept it to herself. Then one day at a <coughs> Bible conference in Massachusetts, she was asked to give a testimony. She stood and said, there is one hymn I have written which has never been published. I call it my soul's poem. Sometimes when I'm troubled, I repeat it to myself because it brings such comfort to my heart. While many in the audience began to weep from her words, she began to recite her soul's poem. It went like this. Someday the silver cord will break, and I no more as now shall sing. But oh, the joy when I shall wake within the palace of the king, and I shall see him face to face and tell the story saved by grace. At the age of 95, Fanny Crosby died on February the 12th, 1915. Would you like to meet her? I love to sing, and I hope we shall hear one of her many hymns sung by the angels as God welcomes us to our eternal home. In Hebrews 12, we read these words, Do your utmost to be at peace with everyone and to keep on living that holy life without which no one will ever see God. Be careful, be careful not to lose your hold on God's grace by allowing bitterness to come into your hearts, for this will not only hurt you, but many others. Father, we just praise your name for these hymn writers like Fanny Crosby, who wrote such beautiful words for us to sing praises to our Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, amen.